Stetter is a member company of the Schwing Group. Since 1950, we've been working in the field of development, manufacture and servicing of concrete mixing plants for construction sites as well as for ready-mixed concrete plants and precast factories. The Stetter Tunnel concreting trains enable contractors to produce high-quality concrete and mortar at working sites with a reduced cross-section. For us, these trains are the most economical way of making tunnel tubes. One Stetter train has three parts, feeding device, mixing unit and concrete pump. And all this can be operated by only two persons. Our tunnel concreting trains are specialized for cross sections between 7.5 and 50 square meters. For different applications, we offer the model TBZ15, width 1.3 meters, height 2.5 meters, and the model TBZ30, width 1.6 meters, height 3.2 meters. For tunnels with a cross section of more than 50 square meters, we offer special truck mixers with counter current spiral. These GSM mixers can produce large amounts of high quality concrete. Depending on the tunnel cross section, four different rational placing techniques must be distinguished. The pipe through press process up to a cross section of two square meters. Pumped concrete up to five square meters. Tunnel concreting train for tunnels with cross sections between five and 50 square meters. the counter-current mixer for all larger cross-sections. For the tunnel concreting train, profitability can only be expected for tunnel lengths of 1,000 meters and more. The concrete transport diagram shows this clearly. For distances between 1 and 7.5 kilometers, we use the dry premix. For all distances beyond, the only feasible way is the separate transport of aggregates and cement or filler. The type of transport depends on the average amount of water contained in the aggregates, especially in the sand. Shown below, the transport of the dry premix and above the curve, the separate transport of aggregates and cement filler. This means material transport A is in any case simpler and thus cheaper. The material is conveyed from the transport cars to the feeding device. For separate transport, the aggregates require a corresponding amount of cement. The transport cars for the aggregates are the same for A and B. Only for type B is a separate cement and filler car used. the feeding device. The conveyor belt, the conveyor screw and the dust protection hood are supported by a mobile frame. A water buffer tank and the water metering device are housed in the lower part of the frame. The hose line carrying mixing water and admixtures ends in the dust protection hood. The shutters can move freely over the mixing opening. The materials are injected into the mixer by means of four special nozzles. In these see-through cylinders, the admixtures are pre-batched. the electronic control system. All elements of the feeding device can be controlled from this panel. There's a direct connection to the main control unit in the mixer. As an option, the amount of mixing water can also be determined by the consistency measurement in the mixer. The measured values are then processed by the computer. Thus, it's possible to maintain a precise water-cement ratio 
even for the varying amounts of water contained in the aggregates. The mixer. The single shaft compulsory mixer moves along the supporting frame from its upper discharge position into its lower batching and filling position, where the weigher is automatically adjusted to zero. The mixer is driven by a hydraulic rocker arm. Our film shows the unit with the optional consistency measurement device. Near the upper and lower end positions, the mixer running speed is reduced. The sturdy mixing mechanism. It consists of highly wear resistant materials and is self cleaning. The mixing shaft bearing is completely sealed against the mixing chamber opening by means of rotating mechanical seals. This guarantees a long lifetime of the assembly. The electronic control of the mixer is the heart of the unit. With the weight indicator, the remote water indicator and all control elements for manual or automatic operation. The logical arrangement and the self-explaining symbols of the control elements make the operation very simple. The switch cabinet houses the low voltage units, the freely programmable control, the digital compensators and indicators. In the opposite compartment of the cabinet, we find the power current supply and distribution, the switchover protection devices and the transformer. The concrete pump. We have adapted the standard Schwing concrete pump to best suit the requirements of the tunnel concreting train. This pump is provided with its own control system, which means that each component of the tunnel concreting train can be tested and operated independently of the others. The mixer covers the feed hopper only partly. The hopper is arranged flat and lengthwise over the pump. The hopper's capacity is bigger than the volume of one mixing charge. The concrete is moved to the valve area by means of a conveyor screw. From there, it's pumped to the distributor on the formwork sport car, or in the case of shot mortar, to the spraying nozzles. the transport of materials. The picture shows a cement car with extracting screw and through conveyor belt. The fill openings are splash proof and provided with stripping plates. The through conveyor belt for the aggregates is below the extracting screw. The conveyor screw discharge side, which can be seen in this picture, is equipped with a flap. This ensures that no cement can leak through when the car is in motion. The mixing process. For mixing in the tunnel concreting train with the separate transport of aggregates and cement, the transport cars are shunted close to the concreting train. The cement car is the first in line. After reaching its final position, the cement conveyor screws are coupled manually and dustproof, whereafter the electrical connection between the train and the material transport cars is made. The concrete mix formula is selected at the mixer and started with the push of a button. 
The aggregates are conveyed through to the train from the transport cars and below the cement car. They reach the mixer after weight batching on a conveyor belt. Then the cement and any water still required are added. After a short stationary mixing in its lower position, the mixer automatically moves towards its upper position for discharge. The mixer discharges only after the feed hopper of the concrete pump is free. Then the pump conveys the concrete towards the formwork or to the wet shot creating equipment. Up to 15 or 30 cubic meters respectively of high quality concrete can be produced per hour by the Stetter models TBZ15 and TBZ30. With a technology adapted to the progress of modern construction methods.